hey kids, this isn't quite the same as the conversations we usually have, but it's the best I can do right now. We've had the conversation before about the question why and how sometimes we just keep asking why, why, why. Like, this is the season for maple syrup. Why? Because as the weather warms, the sap starts to run. Why? Because sap is what gives the tree life, brings the leaves. Why? Because it carries the nutrients like sugar and maple sap has lots of sugar. Why? Well, sometimes adults get frustrated because you get to a point where they don't know the answer or they're just tired of the conversation and want to change the topic. But sometimes when we ask why questions, we learn a lot. We actually dig into a topic and get to understand stuff. The kind of why questions we're asking right now are different. Why can't I go to school? Why can't I go visit a friend? Why can't we all go to the Katie market if we can't go to school? Why do I have to act like I'm sick when I'm not? Why is this happening? Those are difficult why questions because there isn't really an answer. There is an illness going around that's really dangerous for older people. And the only way to stop it is to have people not catch it. But that kind of doesn't help a lot. Those explanations feel difficult, hollow. Um, it's like because we can't see what we're talking about. So right now, I don't think why questions help a lot. This situation just is. What we can do, perhaps, is ask what question. What can I do right now? What can I do for me? What can I do for family? What can I do for grandma, grandpa that I can't go and see? Though there are answers to those questions. We can phone, we can make cards, we can make things to send in the mail. There are other kind of what questions that also can help us in this time. What can I dream? What can I imagine? And what can I do to make that dream come true? And those are the kinds of questions that Jesus asked. There was once he came across a blind man and people wanted to know, why is the man blind? And Jesus said, that's the wrong question. The question is, what can I do for this man now? He did three things. He gave the man hope. He said he put mud on his eyes, ick, and sent him to wash in a pool. And the man actually started to hope that he might see. And with that action, Jesus' power was able to make the man see. And then a whole bunch of controversy erupted. People didn't like the fact, because he did it on the Sabbath, and people were really strict about doing no work on the Sabbath. And so he, people turned away from the man, and Jesus went back to him and said, join my followers, be part of my community. Those were three different kind of what's that Jesus did in the face of a why question. It's hard when we don't have answers to why when we're talking about why things happen. But always we can look ahead and think about what we're going to do, what we're going to imagine would be good. Not all of our dreams or imaginations will come to pass, but if we're dreaming about light, dreaming about good, then that does help us through each day, help us think about what to do in the now, when we're bored, when we're tired of being where we are. Know that um, all us church folks are thinking about you, and uh, we'll talk soon.